Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. Love reading for August 2019. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, or maybe even cross watchers. Thank you for the support. So we're just going to jump right in here, see what's coming up for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the month of August. So we have the High Priestess, Six of Cups, a lot of thinking about the past. A lot of thinking about uh, an, a previous partner, a dream you had, a lot of dreaming about children or a lot of dreaming about your future partner maybe. I feel like a lot of uh, very intuitive, almost like clairvoyant dreams or thoughts or conversations with yourself even. The Tower, the Eight of Swords, the World, and the Queen of Wands. So. The hangman at the bottom of the deck is telling me that for some of you, you have been kind of stuck on someone or unable to move on, unable to open up to the possibility of love, okay? The challenge is to move past the past. <laughs> the challenge is to let go of um, someone, a dream you had with a person or around a person, an idea the idea of what love is, the idea of what a relationship should be, the idea of what's acceptable and what isn't within relationships. I feel like you're hung up on something and you're in your head, you know, it's almost like you're living more in your inner world than you are in the outer world. So you're thinking about things a lot. You're uh, nostalgic, meditating, contemplating, thinking about everything but you're not really taking action towards anything and the foundation we have the eight of swords so you have been stuck you have felt unable to move on it is because you're in your head a lot or you're in, head, in your head too much because actually you're not stuck you haven't been stuck in quite some time but you don't see yourself in your own power you see yourself as powerless you see yourself as stuck you see yourself as weak almost you know like you can't move on you can't let go another situation is you may feel like you're stuck in a situation because of children because you have children with someone um you're kind of stuck there in the past we have the world card so for some of you you've been single for quite some time a cycle did complete a cycle did end but I feel like it was not what you wanted and that's why you're feeling stuck, okay? It could be because someone had to physically leave your life. They had to move away or they chose to move away. In the crowning thoughts, we have the tower. Now I like the tower and your crowning thoughts with the eight of swords in the foundation because with the eight of swords this is how you've been seeing yourself in your in your in your inner world with the tower and how you're about to see things this is breaking down preconceived ideas preconceived notions breaking down what you thought was true that was actually keeping you stuck for some of you i feel like you've been on your own and you've been perfectly happy and content traveling doing your own thing there's a blast from the past that comes in very unexpectedly it could be that this person blocked you out walked away and now out of the blue they're coming back and they're telling you they love you they're go you're gorgeous you're their perfect person there's a lot of attraction here be mindful though okay with the high priestess there's a lot going on behind the scenes I feel like you know this already. For those of you, there could be a blast from the past coming in, but you're not interested. This is the happy single card. Or you're just focusing on your career. You're not interested in love right now. Because this is focusing on your achievements, focusing on your work, focusing on your career, your reputation, your goals. It's almost like you've blocked everything else out. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but I feel like the more you run away from love, the, hitter, the harder it hits you. And it may be a blast from the past. Okay, that's making you consider, do I want to stay single? Do I want to, what do I want to do? 
Six of Wands in your presence. So there's definitely someone kind of waltzing back into your life. Page of Cups with the Eight of Swords. I feel like it's someone you may have turned your back on, but you've been at a distance from each other. And it's almost like either intentionally or unintentionally, you kind of stopped talking to them. You kind of lost touch. And I feel like they're coming up in person to talk to you now. Okay. In the past, we have the Temperance card and the World card. This may be the energy of Sagittarius. The Six of Wands is also Sagittarius. Aries of Leo. Again, I feel like something started in the past for some of you. Started a while ago, but it wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time for it. So it didn't work out. But you never really moved on from each other. However, that applies. And I feel like now they're coming back around or now you're coming back around. Um, and it's almost like, what do you want to do? You never thought you're going to be in this position. You never thought you're going to have this chance again. The Emperor. Aries again. But it's someone who's very determined. This is uh, Aries. This is Mars energy. The Tower is also Mars energy. It's almost like, ready or not, this is happening. Okay? It could be the attitude of this person, or it could be your attitude. Or it could be the attitude of, like, the... I don't know if I can say the attitude of the universe, but it's like you almost feel like you're swept away you almost feel like whether i want to or not it, it looks like it's happening you know and i feel like this is the case for someone from your past coming back around absolutely but for others of you it's a it's a new person you've been trying to manifest this divine partner i want to say which is not something i say very often but there you go um and it just wasn't the right time and now it is Six of Cups, the Tower, the Emperor is like, there you go, boom. This is the father of your child now. This is the mother of your child. This is your stable, long-term, committed partner now. So there's a sense of intense victory. Death card, a complete transformation of your love life. It could be the end of you being single, but like for good, you know, where you do meet the person you end up marrying, whether you're just getting started now and it... it takes some time but eventually that's where it goes or this is come, someone coming back and it's like the, the this is the last time you're going to be single the hierophant marriage commitment family happily ever after absolutely absolutely nine of wands the nine of wands is like okay let me think let me think give me time but nope it's happening you're feeling overwhelmed but it's it's happening knight of swords force strength swept off your feet things moving very quickly someone who's not taking no for an answer four swords there's a spiritual connection here there was a, a pause okay things were slow or not moving at all in your love life Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So offers for happily ever after. Okay. Jeez, what's going on, Virgo? But yeah, it looks like whether you're ready for this or not, or you think you're ready for it or not, you're about to meet someone who's very significant. You're about to meet maybe the person you end up marrying, absolutely. The person you end up having children with, the person you end up being, you know, um, just spending the rest of your life with. I'm definitely seeing that. For others of you, for those of you who wanted out of a relationship or who were just not happy, but you were staying for the kids or you were staying for, you know, I don't know. There's still feelings there with the Six of Cups. There's nostalgia. There's still feelings. So there was love, but you still felt stuck. So maybe it was a relationship that was moving very slowly or not moving, seemingly. But you kept it to yourself. You didn't really speak about how you felt. 
And I feel like there's going to be a conversation that just happens. Either you're just going to blurt it out, okay? Or the person you're interested in or your partner is just going to start talking to you about this. And you're like, oh, okay, I had no idea this is how you feel as well. I had no idea you, you were planning this as well. And it's a complete transformation of the relationship. It, it's something that strengthens the relationship and moves it forward in a direction it's never been in before. This could be like shock proposals. Unexpected, unplanned, but very happy pregnancies. It's like it's it's whatever's happening in your love life. In the month of August, it's meant to be. Okay, that's all I can say. No matter what you do, there's very, very little you can do to change or avoid this. There's really not a lot of room to hide. You may feel like you're not ready. You may feel like, you know, you need more time or whatever. But it's like, no, it's happening. Why? Because you've been thinking about it for so much, for so much. You've been thinking about it for so long that you're, you're actually manifesting. This is exactly what it is. And it's almost like, I'm, I'm not ready for this. I didn't think, I didn't plan for this to happen now. I was hoping in the future, but it's like, no, the universe is telling you, no, you're ready now. Don't hold yourself back. There's no reason to hold yourself back. So things are about to pick up speed in your love life, whether you're single or not, doesn't matter. It's a complete transformation of your love life leading you to deep long-lasting commitments whether you're just getting started with someone or this is a relationship that's been going back and forth or there's been un unaddressed issues or conversations that haven't been had or whatever it's just all put out there in the open with the tower whether you want to or not but it's the push that was needed Okay, it's the push that was needed. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let me know how this makes sense to you, okay? Um, and how it applies. But I hope the reading helps if you're dealing with these energies. It's amazing energy. It's amazing energy. So ready or not, <laughs> you know, here comes, here comes love. Ready or not, here comes love. Okay? So have a fantastic month. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.